You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have a huge and exciting comings and goings update for you. We have two recast actors on the set debuting very soon, and one of them looks to be the new Gabby Hernandez. Plus, we have a gigantic roster of confirmed returns for Doug Williams' funeral. And I want to let you know everybody we know so far that's coming back for that. It's 10, 10 people, by the way. Before we dive in, though, please click subscribe if you haven't. And now let's Let's get right into it. I'm going to start with the 10 people coming back for the tribute to Bill Hayes character, of course, the charming Doug Williams. So we have a few more months of episodes of Bill Hayes as Doug Williams because he filmed up until December 13th, 2023, and then he passed away a month later on January 12th, 2024 at the age of 98 after a life amazingly well lived. So now we can confirm Bill last episode as Doug airs on July 11th, 2024. It's time to coincide with his wife, Susan Seaforth Hayes, 80th birthday, which is another amazing milestone. However, Days is also filming a storyline death of his character, Doug Williams, and the devastation ahead for his on-screen and off-screen spouse, Susan Seaforth Hayes, as Julie Williams, and of course, Doug's funeral. The showrunners at Days of Our Lives decided to set the timing of Doug's funeral to align with the historic 15,000th episode of the NBC soap opera. That is going to air on Tuesday, December 3rd, 2024. So we have a few months left before we need a whole, a whole huge stack of tissue to get through this event. So I have a list of 10 returns for the funeral and the surrounding episodes that are happening in the days before and just after. We have, first of all, Melissa Reeves is back as Jennifer Horton and Matthew Ashford is back as her on-screen husband, Jack Devereaux. And that's just the tip of the Horton iceberg. We've also got Marie Cheatham, 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 I think it's Cheatham, back as Marie Horton. And Stephen Schnetzer is back as Julie's brother, Stephen Olson. We also have some more recent exits returning. Martha Madison is back as Belle Black, along with her soap hubby, Sean Brady, played by by Brandon Beamer. And of course, both of them exited the NBC soap as part of that whole massacre where so many people were let go. Brandon was the only male actor and there were like seven, I think, actresses affected. So they are back. And of course, they were excited to come back to say goodbye to the beloved Bill Hayes, but it's still kind of bittersweet because we did lose them. Also look for Victoria Conifle back as Sierra Brady. And I just have to wonder if Rob Scott Wilson is going to temporarily swap roles away from Alex Kitiakis back over to Ben Weston, Sierra's husband, for these funeral episodes. That's what I'd expect, but we'll wait and see. Also look for Sal Stowers and Layman Archie back as Lonnie Price and Eli Grant, very important returns. And the 10th and last return that I can confirm is Gloria Loring, who is back as Liz Chandler. I do suspect we might get some more returns and maybe a few surprises in store. But as of now, those are the 10 I can confirm are back for the December 3rd funeral episode of Doug Williams, which will also pay a loving tribute to Bill Hayes. Now let's talk about a couple of other comings and goings that are going to hit our screens well before Bill Hayes' last episode in the funeral for Doug. So this week, Brandon Barish is back as Stefan Demera, and he gets all all the charges against him dropped in favor of time served in jail already. And of course, this is going to infuriate EJ Demera. He blackmailed EJ into cutting this deal for him. But then EJ went into the judges chambers and made a really flimsy argument, hoping that she would throw out the deal and send Stefan to prison. And even though Stefan threatened to out him by showing the recording, then his brother threatened to take him down and reveal that he had shot Harris. So 
We'll see. I think he would need Harris's cooperation to make that happen. So, But right now, EJ thinks he's got the Trump card. And even worse, of course, that's going to upset EJ, Gabby Hernandez is going to be released soon. So she is in jail for the alleged murder of Lee Shen, her ex. But I know they were they were having some kind of special event on the NBC soap set soon, some kind of party. And I heard that Remington Hoffman, who plays supposedly dead Shin was there and I of course suspect he's not dead at all because Dr. Rolf was in town and if Rolf's in town dead's not dead so if he is coming back from the dead that would get Gabby out of prison but they could explain it a different way either way Gabby is out soon because the new actress playing her was spotted in civilian clothing in her costume a proper costume not prison orange or in the case of Statesville prison denim Camilla Banus left the role of Gabby Hernandez to pursue some other career goals as well as planning to start a family. Her last air date as Gabby was November 9th, 2023. She wrapped filming around May of 2023. And then not long after that, there was a casting call that went out from NBC Daytime that read, just like if it was Gabby, they specifically wanted a Latin actress, someone who didn't mind showing her body. And it it, it just it was clearly Gabby. And now we've got her back as we leaked months past it will be Cherie Jimenez in the role. So I'm going to pop up this photo of Cherie Jimenez on the set in her Gabby costume, along with another newcomer whose character is a little harder to determine. The other new actor's name with Cherie Jimenez is Al Calderon. You can see from her skin tight dress and tons of cleavage, the vibe is definitely Gabby Hernandez, plus, of course, the, the casting call. And Gabby has been name dropped constantly on the NBC soap opera and and increasingly in recent weeks. So with Stefan Free and Clear and Brendan Barish back from paternity leave, the time is right for Gabby to get out of jail and come home to her loving husband and just in time to help thwart EJ's gambit to take over the CEO seat at Demera Enterprises. So we don't have an air date yet for this debut, but the picture was on Days of Our Lives official Instagram. So I doubt they would start promoting the debut of these two actors on the soap unless it was coming soon. With May sweeps starting a week from Thursday on April 25th, I would imagine those two are going to show up in sweeps. We'll see. But the larger mystery is, who is this guy Al Calderon playing? Uh, Some have theorized he might be playing a recast Dario Hernandez, but there's a, a couple of questions for me about that. First, that actor, Al, is 29, and the last actor to play Dario was Jordi Villasuso, who is... 42. So 29 to 42. That's a serious reverse Soros. Second, Calderon is Italian and Jordi Villasuso is Cuban American, as is Camilla Banus, who last played Gabby. Galen Gehring, who plays her brother Rafe, is Spanish Basque. And the new actress, Cherie Jimenez, is Puerto Rican among a whole mix of other things. So it's just, I don't know, you know, what they will do if it, I, I just don't think they would have somebody playing Dario who's not a Latin actor, but maybe he's fluent in Spanish. Not that they use it a lot, but they do sometimes. And we'll see. But there's also the outfit they have him in. You can't really see it in this photo real well. I had to crop it for you. So in addition to being way too young to play Dario, they have Al Calderon in this costume that has kind of a cropped shorty shirt. That is a very interesting costume choice that could mean something or nothing. It doesn't look like anything we would see Dario in, but maybe this guy's not a recast. Then again, maybe he's a new Sonny Kiriakis. I mean, he is about the right age to play him. Sonny would definitely be hugging on Gabby like they are in the photo And honestly, that big smile of his and that facial scruff remind me a lot of the most recent Sunny recast Zach Tinker. So we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe he is recast Dario, which would be strange. Maybe he's recast Sunny, which, you know, would be okay. Um, Maybe he's a new character. I don't know. But since he's right there with Gabby, it feels like he's got to be Dario or or Sunny. We'll see. For now, that's all we have on this Days of Our Lives Comings and Goings update. Please drop your comments. Subscribe. Subscribe if you've not and come back soon. We are here talking days, seven days a week on your number one soap opera spoilers channel with me, Belinda from Soap Dirt. 
thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 